Well, hello there. It's Andrew Lynch from Andrew Lynch Golf, and I have got Zach Johnson, who is the new British Open champion uh, after winning in a four-hole playoff. And uh, one of the things they said about Zach was uh, he might not be the longest driver out there, but uh, he really wedges and puts it well. Well, I've got these two uh, wedge swings here. Uh, and obviously front and back and so I thought I would uh, just have a look at uh, Zach's swing because you know he we've all seen Zach hold wedge shots you know uh, I remember that uh, Tiger Woods tournament when he hold a wedge shot uh, and uh, he's very consistent he's uh, not what you'd call a dynamic player like uh, a Dustin Johnson he's never going to hit 390 yard or 450 yard drives but he gets the job done and he's the one with the Clara jug uh, and that's the most important thing so he wedged it incredibly well during the uh, British Open so let's have a look at this swing so first I've put the usual lines in uh, so let's have a look uh, kind of face on at this swing and you know when I look at this swing I just I don't see a lot of complicated moves it's, you know, Zach came up through the mini tours and he's just progressively got better as he's moved on. But I also think Zach probably got an incredible will and a mental attitude, which, you know, even though we're looking at the swing here, you know, again, I'll say it, it's, it's a huge part of the game. 70 to 90 percent of players ability is their mental attitude. So let's kind of just... Uh, slow that down a little bit let's have a look at this now of course you know we look at uh, his grip let's have a look there, his grip and you know it's what you'd call a hooker's grip and this is a wedge so uh, you know you'd think okay he's gonna be in problems there because he's not got the classic grip again grip is uh, again as I say is, is important if you don't rotate at all but Zach does rotate. So uh, let's take that back. I've got, let's see, move that back. Nice, gentle move away from the ball, not no snatching. And if you notice where those lines are, he doesn't move off those lines. It's almost like he just rotates. I think they call it the right-sided swing, if I'm correct. It just kind of seems to rotate around that way. He doesn't seem to kind of like shift his weight a lot. So uh, just take that back. So you're seeing him kind of just rotate around. But it's just that one kind of, kind of right side that's rotating around because you don't see a huge amount of shoulder turn there. Now I know this is a wedge. And then you see him rotate back. Now, if you notice that kind of yellow line on his hip, it's not moved a huge amount. And he's not moved his head a huge amount. And he's not moved that center, which is that small yellow line, here, you know, kind of here. He's not moved that one much. So... It's a cons as a consistency there. Now you can't quite see on this one, but if you take this through to there, this is a little like Jordan Spieth. He's not released that golf club. He's he's kind of, he's not. I don't believe he's held it. He's more you know he's he's kind of belt buckle. He's kind of facing somewhere there, but he's not flipped that golf club. Now if you take it on a little bit more. It still doesn't look flipped. It kind of now it looks like a slight chicken wing because he's really he doesn't he, he he holds his club. You know it's like uh, Trevino used to talk about great bunker players. They kind of hold they hold it they hold the club face in that position. They don't flip over. And Zach does this on most of his shots, which I think makes him very consistent. And then when you see here, it's still not really turned over like most players he just never really releases that club and if you notice that so that's where I believe he gets a lot of his consistency from uh, so you know again taking that back taking that back 
you can see there at the ascent, his centre and his hip and his head pretty much staying in place, just turning the right hand side of him round his centre and then there is a lower shift, but it's not dynamic, that, you know, it's, it's not a long, long hitter. And there, square, and holds it through. He doesn't want to flip through the ball. So, now, if we take to his uh, the rear view of uh, his swing here, and uh, again, uh, let's have a quick look at this a couple of times. I've drawn again, the usual angles is the... Uh, shaft anglet address, the butt line, and his uh, head line there, and his kind of spine angle. And it just looks very simple. And what's interesting is, if I just take him back to address, sorry, impact, you can see that that club is nowhere near. There's quite a gap here. So, you know, he's not Hogan-like. He's uh, There's a big gap there. But again, it's what he does. He consistently does it. Now, what's interesting is, I was thinking, well, is I mean, how could you say that Zach Johnson has got a bad swing? Because, you know, he's not at the address angle again, which is kind of what they like to call a zero angle. Well, if you look at, that's just before impact. If you take him in to impact, this arm is pretty much straight. And if you look at someone like Hogan, his arm at impact would be down like this. Trevino, the same. So they, they're, they're holding that side, which will then get the club back on the shaft line at address. Uh, does that make you a better ball striker? Well, the best ball strikers tended to do that. You know, uh, they've said there's only been four or five that consistently get it back to that angle. Uh, now, I think that... So, kind of like, where am I going here? Am I saying that Zach's not a good player? That he's just been lucky to win a very tough British Open? Oh, and a Masters, you know, in 2007 or 8? No, I believe that Zach has found what works for him. Now, if this is kind of like away from a perfect swing, it might, technically there may be a perfect swing, but this is perfect for Zach. Zach can do this day in, day out. And so... I believe as a teacher, there's, yes, there's this perfect golf swing, but we have to understand that we're trying to find the perfect golf swing for a individual. We're not trying to fit into a mould. So, Zach has found a swing that some would say is not technically perfect, but who can argue the fact that he's got now the British Open Championship and he played very well. There was no element of looking that whatsoever. So I think there's, uh, and also as you can see here, Zach's not got a lot of, you can barely see this front leg. There's not a lot of rotation there, really quite honestly. Again, so he's kind of like, those arms are released, but he doesn't flip them. Because as you see here, again, if you take that club through, he's, he's kind of holding that club. Spine angle still intact. He's on the butt line. And if you can see there, is no release. That club has not been released. I think what Zach has found is he hasn't got fantastic rotation, but if he doesn't flip that club over, he can pretty much hit that ball at will. Again, he's found his swing. So there's hope for all of us. We've just got to find our swing. And what I'm showing you here is a great player who's found what works for him. Uh, even though he doesn't get it back perfect, he can get it back to the position he wants that works for him and good for him. So I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, give me a shout. And again, congratulations to Zach Johnson on a very well played British Open and a deserved trophy and gold medal. From me, take care.